Hello everybody. So finally I managed to make the first video of this year. And this is because I was sick. So I start the new year with the sickness. But right now at this moment I'm still not the best but I feel way way better like I was before. And for this reason I think that I can start with the making of some videos. And for the first video I was thinking to make the video about my hybrid device. And the hybrid device which I have in my mind is some zinc on hybrid capacitor. So the zinc on hybrid capacitor is some sort of hybrid device between the battery and the supercapacitor. So if you want to have a little bit more details then on internet you have a lot of data and you also have a lot of research papers about this device. And actually the zinc on hybrid capacitor is one of my favorite hybrid devices because you can make some basic zinc on hybrid capacitor really really easy and don't require any complex materials and also the performance of this device is also really nice because you will get really really awesome power output and also the energy density of some zinc on hybrid capacitor uh, is also not so bad because you can get the energy density 10 times to 20 times better like the energy density of some supercapacitor. So like I said before, because the zinc on hybrid capacitor is one of my favorite hybrid devices, for this reason I also spent a lot of time in the past for improving this kind of device. And here I have some upgraded version of this um, capacitor. Here I have some test cells. Here I put together uh, four cells and with these four cells I'm able to run this toy car because testing the batteries or the supercapacitors with some RC toy car is I don't know, way funnier. And actually the construction of my upgraded version of zinc on hybrid capacitor is fundamental, actually not so different like some classic zinc on hybrid capacitor because on the positive side I still have some carbon based material on the negative side I have some zinc and between is some sort of electrolyte uh, but sadly I cannot tell you all the details and all the materials which I use in this upgraded version of zinc on hybrid capacitor because most of these solutions I take out from the hyperflow battery and like some of you already know, the Hyperflow battery is actually my battery which I work for a really long time. And with the Hyperflow battery technology, I want to create some business in the future. And for this reason, all the materials and the solutions which are taken from the Hyperflow battery are not for public. And I hope that you will understand. So the solutions which I take out from the Hyperflow battery and I use in this uh, upgraded version of zinc on a hybrid capacitor are of course the electrodes, modified electrolyte, unique dendrite blocker and so on. And with all these upgrades I get really really awesome performance. Because the power output of my device is around 3 amps per 0.2 grams of active material. And the energy density is in the region of 400 milliwatt hours per gram of active material. And over here you can also see the discharge curve. So here I test the cell which only uses 0.2 grams of active material. So here you can see four cells. And in each cell I use 0.4 grams of active material.
nice. And now I will put together some really simple Zincon heartbeat capacitor. So actually I uh, put together uh, Zincon heartbeat capacitors in many videos, but still I will repeat uh, one more time. Um, so actually what you need to make uh, some zinc on hybrid capacitor is of course some carbon material for the positive side I mean the carbon material is your active material and you need to make sure that um, the positive active material will have a large surface area so larger will be the surface area better will be also the performance of your device and for this reason it's good if you use some activated carbon so some activated carbon powder or activated carbon felt will do the job but make sure that you can get some activated carbon which have really really large surface area um, so the activated carbon powder or activated carbon felt like I have over here will be the positive active material then for the positive current collector you can go with some graphite plate like this one or some uh, graphite foil like this one and for the negative electrode you can simply use some zinc so some zinc you can get really really easily on ebay um, then here i have also some separator which is some normal kitchen paper uh, and the electrolyte is some zinc sulfate electrolyte and two more of zinc sulfate will do the job really really nice and yeah this is everything what you need to make some really really basic uh, zinc on heartbeat capacitor so I will cut out some piece of zinc like so So first what I will do, I will wet this uh, activated carbon felt with the electrolyte but in your case if you use some activated carbon powder then uh, the activated carbon powder you mix together with your electrolyte uh, to get some pasta. Okay, this will be good. Then on the top, on uh, then on the top of this activated carbon felt, I will put the separator. Also, the separator I will wet with the electrolyte, like so. And on the top, I will put the zinc and my uh, some basic zinc um, hybrid capacitor is actually done. But in this stage you can also make some experimenting and to this zinc sulfate electrolyte you can add a lot of different additives. Uh, you can also change uh, the zinc electrode with some carbon electrode and so on. Uh, so first of all uh, to this zinc, zinc sulfate electrolyte I will also add a little bit of one mole of sodium sulfate. So the sodium sulfate, for example, will increase the conductivity, and for this reason, you will—I mean, the device will produce a little bit better, uh, better current. And also, what is also really good by using uh, this sodium sulfate, like additive to the zinc sulfate, is that. Uh, this sodium sulfate will suppress the zinc dendrites. And now I will charge this capacitor with 2.1 watt. So at this moment I charge uh, the capacitor with 500 milliamps. Uh, so make sure that 
every time when you use uh, the sodium sulfate like additive to suppress the zinc dendrites in your device then in this case you need to make sure that you will have some control at uh, charging because if the charging power will be too high then you will get the penetration of zinc dendrites now the zinc ion hybrid capacitor was charged for about five minutes and yeah still i have uh, 79 uh, milliamps but five minutes of charging will be okay first of all i will measure the voltage and yeah i get the voltage of 1.89 volts but the voltage will settle down to 1.8 volts and now let's check the current so here i use really small amount of active material and yeah I get the current of 1.5 amps not bad really nice I also test some basic zinc on hybrid capacitor with one gram of active material and for the active material I use one gram of activated carbon powder and here is the discharge curve and for the last let's have some fun 